Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuer from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Some proponents of the U.S. space program will say the state is necessary to fund these activities because who would do this otherwise? What private entrepreneur would ever fund millions or billions into making rockets and manned spaceflight? Also, we need the state in order to seek other planets to, to colonize because we are acidifying our oceans, we are destroying our rainforests, we are polluting our oceans, and we are destroying our habitat. So this is wrong and flawed on many levels. Number one, of course, if the space program was necessary for our survival, I would expect many, not one, but many entrepreneurs to, be, to find this a worthy venture to invest in, right? Because as any animal in existence has shown, self-preservation is a very powerful instinct. So I'm not worried at all if the state is not forcing people to fund it that nobody would fund it. This is absurd. People would definitely fund it if it was a necessary and important project to fund. The second thing is the idea that we are destroying our planet is an entirely fallacious one. I have devoted many videos to this. This is based on the idea that human beings are a scourge a virus on the planet, that we are, we are wreaking havoc. We are destroying our atmosphere and our ecosystem. And we are being entirely self-destructive and suicidal, especially when it comes to the use of fossil fuels and coal. And this also goes along with the idea of global warming and climate change, which are mostly, which is mostly propaganda by the state in order for the people to give the state more power and more currency and more legitimacy. So realistically, the opposite is true. We are a benefactor on the earth. We are liberating the carbon that has been stored as potential energy deep in the earth. We are releasing carbon into the atmosphere and this is causing a green bloom and this is causing a mass increase in vegetation as the plants need this carbon in order to thrive. So it is very opposite. We do not need to empower political parasites. We don't, do not need to siphon any more of our resources to the state so it may waste it on these boondoggles. This is entirely unnecessary. And the third thing is that the idea that we need to escape somewhere and colonize another planet because we are destroying this one is very strange because in my mind, the most destructive ideology that we have heretofore espoused is the idea of statism and the belief in authority. It is the idea that some people have the moral and legitimate right to rule over other people unconditionally. And that through strange political rituals, such as elections and democracy and representation, that those actions that they do that would have deem been deemed crime, a crime, if a regular individual an ordinary citizen would have done, if they do those actions, it is deemed as acceptable. So this is known as legal plunder, right? If, if we rob our neighbor to fund our children's education, that's called assault and robbery. <laughs> but if, uh, if we hire, if we elect a politician to do the very same thing, 
through property taxes, it's called um, taxation and it is acceptable. So there's many political euphemisms that exist uh, when one becomes a politician, an agent of the state, that should be recognized and should be understood as being the bane of our existence. Because most people do understand the normal moral code of conduct, which is do not hurt another person and do not take their things. Most people do understand that. However, this gets turned upside down and inside out when the state is acting and is involved. And so if we do not resolve such deep, profound moral conflicts such as this that have given rise, by the way, to the most oppressive, brutal, and violent regimes in history, then we have not made any progress. We must recognize that the greatest threat to peaceful people is not immigrants, it's not the Muslims, it's not Hispanics, it's not even individual private criminals. It is those criminals that hide behind their cloak of legitimacy, behind their badge, behind their judge's black gown, and they call their crimes law and regulation and taxation by the most heinous and the largest gang in the in the US continent in the US uh, the US geographical region this is known as the US federal government so until we resolve this intellectual and moral dilemma we cannot claim to have advanced as a species at all and if we desire to inhabit other planets and yet we bring this mental pestilence with us we are doing no service to that new area we are actually just spreading our intellectual infection there so we would do good to begin with some introspection some self-reflection into our own mindset, our own moral code. And this is where progress begins. Thank you very much. This is Daniel Quayer from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Have a magnificent day. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peaceful anarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you will receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.